Welcome to Negotiating with Jesus. I'm Tom. I can tell you a quick joke. Uh, and you should always ask uh, your devices to tell you a joke. Uh, try and have jokes ready to interact with the world. It's a great way to talk and to uh, break the ice. That's something you have to practice. So uh, I did get a joke this morning. How do you get a barber to cross the road? You just yell, come over here. So, of course, uh, a good dad joke, uh, nice and clean for the kids, uh, but also a weird thing. You have to be able to see jokes for what they are. Who's the audience that would receive this joke? You also have to be willing to sacrifice yourself. One of the things about jokes is uh, you have to put yourself in the position of the jester, and you end up losing status. By being a joke teller, you lose some status, but you gain relationship. As a, as a Christian, I'm to lose status. I'm to lower myself and raise other people up. Um, so uh, being humble is a strategy. It's a strategy in the world. So when you tell jokes, you're going to lose some status. You're going to become a joker. Um, people will not respect you in the same way. But am I trying to gain respect in this world and gain status, or am I willing to give it up? Because now I'm working for a treasure that's a heavenly reward. So when you look at this joke, uh, you have to decide who would uh, understand the joke, and it has to be a little bit older. It has to be teenager or above. You also have to be willing to uh, make yourself a little bit of the butt of the joke, uh, especially if you have a little bit of thinning hair. It's uh, ideal to put yourself in the place of of the uh, the person with the comb over. Really, you do have to, as a joke teller, have to become humble in some way. You have to be willing to lose status to be laughed at. A, a joke teller, probably one of the hardest jobs in the world, Sales, you know, cold contact sales, man, a tough gig. You have to be able to be rejected. A comedian, man, that's a tough gig because you have to be willing to to face rejection. Boy, facing rejection, that is the entire game of selling and humor, standing in front of people to be judged. So... When you're telling jokes, make sure you're willing to lose some status, practice them, get good at the delivery. It's all timing. It's all timing. Uh, be willing to sacrifice status. So this is what, uh, here's one of the things that um, Jesus did. He sacrificed status. He became the least, but he also gave this great clue. Whoever is last shall be first. This is a great clue mysterious clue about the world. Jesus said, those who are first shall be last. Those who are last shall be first. So you see this great accumulation of power and people are trying to get to the king of the hill. And that's a, a game where you have to push others aside. You have to say, the top position is mine and you have to reject. It's an all or nothing. It's not a, a game where everyone can stand on the top. Jesus says, whoever gets to the first position, the very peak, is going to be last. Whoever goes to the lowest position, which is a strange thing because you think of a pyramid, the lowest position has a, a vast a room for a vast amount of people. But Jesus went lower than that. Uh, the, lower, the lowest position seems to be a reverse pyramid as well, that there's room for one at the end of the line. There's not room for a thousand or a million or an infinite amount there's room for one at the end of the line. So the strange truth is it's not a pyramid, it's a line. Uh, the king of the hill is the first in line. Jesus reverses it. He says, I made myself last. He took the very lowest position as the one who deserved the, deserved the greatest reward, took the least reward, took all the punishment, said, I will be last and in some way, doing that is going to change all things. He said, those who are last shall be first. He ends up becoming the king of all by becoming the servant of all. And there's something that you must wrestle with about, is it true? 
Is it true that if you make the greatest sacrifice, you'll get the greatest reward? Sacrifice is a difficult, touchy subject. We know sacrifice is absolutely necessary, but we also see sacrifice as an unfair thing. It is unfair, uh, and yet sacrifice is the only way to achieve the greatest sacrifice, the most costly sacrifice, is the only way to get the most costly reward, the greatest reward. All these things are things that you have to just let set in you like seeds. You plant them and you allow age and wisdom and, and meditation to, and God's actual revelation to spring it to life. It is some sort of mystery and you have to be willing to just allow, patiently allow things to proceed and, and pray that God will reveal his truth because truth is a thing that we discover, not a thing we create. So there's some thoughts. Uh, I'm going to try and give you a joke. I'll try and do this. My goal is to do this on a regular basis. Uh, I'm distracted by many things, but I want to be uh, a source of, uh, you know, one of your sources for uh, seeking truth. And it's just a long-term project. We'll see where it ends up going. Uh, at this point, I have like zero views. So I can only go up from here or stay exactly where I'm at. Zero views. Uh, thanks for your time. And I'll catch you again. Negotiating with Jesus. I'm Tom. See ya. Like and subscribe.